Welcome back to the Lost Digit. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Breville Barista Express to make a easy espresso with some accessories. So all you really need to do a perfect espresso every time is a dosing cup, some towels, a leveler, a scale, some beans, and some cups. So I'm going to go through it and show you how having these accessories has really helped me. So first thing you have to do, you have to turn it on. I like to put this in and leave it for about 10 to 20 minutes so that it can really warm up. Um, if you do it right away, sometimes it's it's not, it doesn't taste the best, so it's best to leave it, you know, 15 minutes or so. Then uh, I've experimented with some different beans right now. I'm using these from Amazon actually, and even though they're uh, roasted like six to eight months ago, uh, they still taste pretty good as long as you dial it in correctly. So I was pretty amazed that an older bean can still taste pretty good uh, if you take the time to set it up correctly. So first thing you have to do is just add the beans and then uh, the next thing is you want to use this dosing cup uh, and a scale. So what you do is you zero it out and then the point of this is if you see here before I was spilling all over the place so by using this you just push it in and measure out 18 grams and by doing this uh, two things happen. You don't spill everywhere when you pull it out of the grinder and you're able to kind of shake it in and let it settle easier so that when you go to level and tamp it, you're not sitting at like an inch over. So we'll do that next. Uh, the next thing you want to do is remove this and then rinse it, kind of get it warm and then dry it off. Uh, what you're also doing is running the water through the machine, which you're supposed to do before you make your first shot. So in the morning you want to run it at least once after it's warm and then dry this off so now we're ready all you have to do now is take the dosing cup and it's made for this exact uh, 54 millimeter opening you can just put it over it and then flip it and what I found is if you shake it here a few times back and forth and then just kinda tap it a bit it really lowers the level so that it's manageable and then it really changes the way um, and that the coffee is brewed as well as the pressure levels and everything so if you see here it's, it wasn't exactly level it's very hard to level it just by by shaking it so I have this leveler uh, with some fins you just place it over it and then spin it and the more you spin it it just kind of levels out the coffee uh, it's, it's very straightforward and you're left with with a level coffee then you just turn it and push and it reaches the same height every time so that you have a consistent tamp so that's also good so that you have more consistent coffee um, that's not going to change depending on, on how strong you feel that morning. Then you want to wipe the coffee off of the sides just to make sure that it's clean and put it in. Now the next step you only have to do probably once every time you get a new bag and that's uh, time it out. So to do this you put a cup and then you push program and then the double espresso button after zeroing the scale and so if we put 18 grams of beans we want 36 grams for a 1 to 2 ratio so I'll just push program and then start it and at the same time typically you'll want to run a timer so if we watch it here it does the pre-infusion and then starts uh, brewing so we'll watch it close so you can get a feel for what this will be like the other thing you want to do is make sure the pressure is, is at least 12 o'clock or a little higher. I've noticed that's when it gets uh, pretty good. And you just want to run it and then push as soon as it reaches 36. Um, I was a little late actually for this video, but if you stop it at maybe around 33 or 34, it'll be 36 by the time you know the drops stop. So I think it came out pretty well. Um, you can see kind of how it's it's coming down. It looks really good. That's all you really need to do to get a good espresso out of this. So once you get it down, you know, that can take you one or two minutes. Now for the cleanup, this is very important. Uh, I got a mini knock box and if you just hit it, you're gonna splash coffee everywhere. And in a, you know, home kitchen, you probably don't wanna do that. So that's where the towel comes in. I just cover it and then give it a few solid hits. When you do that, you can see 
that all of the coffee comes out and then you can give it a rinse. Now, the rinsing is also important afterwards because you're not just rinsing um, uh, this piece, but also the machine itself where the water comes out. I'll show you in the end that you want to make sure that stays clean. Uh, after that, you, you dry it off. You just put it down, turn the machine off, and that's it. So you could really get it down to probably like around a two minute um, time for a morning. So that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.